One, two, three, and I'm, when I'm punching out from compressed ready again, I'm dangerously close to. So you see that my finger's off the trigger and you can't see my finger at all. This is what I mean by high and index. The part that moves back and forth, that's the slide. The bottom part that you're gripping with both hands, that's the frame, okay? Even on your dummy guns, you can see the magazine release, that little button right here behind your trigger. That is the magazine release, okay? This little button that's on, the, uh, on your frame near the slide, that is called the slide stop. And if you were to push up on it, obviously yours won't work because it's a dummy gun. But if you push up on it, at the same time, if you lock your side of the rear, we'll be doing this with your own guns, but going to it first. That's how you lock your slide of the rear. If you were to push down on it, if your thumb is long enough or strong enough, it lets your slide go home. Okay? Trigger, obviously. Magazine, well, this is where your magazine sits into. If we're going to go on how that works. Okay? The front of your gun, the muzzle. While your weapon is loaded, actually, for the sake of training, you don't ever want your weapon, in, your hand in front of your weapon because this is just a bad habit. Okay? I'm doing it to make a point. But when you don't know how to work your weapon, you definitely don't want to have any part of your body in front of it. Just get your weapons up in your workspace. Workspace is my weapon in front of my face. You understand? Not down here. Not like this. Not in some light, lazy way. Kind of right. My weapon is in front of my face so I can see it. I want All right. Lift. Master grip. <clears throat> Forever and the rest of your life. Don't ever hold your weapon in some other way that's not the proper master grip. You understand? Master grip. <clears throat> what is not part of the grip? Index your index finger. That has a whole nother important job. Your index finger is only to manip manipulate the trigger when appropriate. It is not a part of your grip at all. Okay. Master grip, first thing, master grip, master grip, right? I'm holding the gun firm. My entire, all my, all my fingers, my, my middle, uh, ring and pinky holding the grip and I'm also gripping it with the back of my hand where my thumb is okay look at my thumb it's high it's not closed down it's high see all this open space here all this open space what goes in that open space say my support hand I'm filling in the gap I'm filling in the gaps high thumb and I'm filling in the gaps so my thumbs naturally go forward so when I'm holding it, one-handed, master grip, open, I'm opening up that gap here, and I'm filling in this space with my support hand. Okay? My tips of my fingers are going between my knuckles. Yep, between my knuckles. Like literally, look at, look at your knuckles. Yeah, from the other side, from this side. There you go. So you kind of get your muscle memory wrapped around what's supposed to be happening here. Okay? My thumbs should all be going forward. Okay, your posture should be aggressive but sustainable. And what I mean by that is this, not leaning back in any way, shape, or form. Shade should be aggressive but sustainable while I maintain good sight alignment, looking through my blurry rear and focusing on my front sight so that my target will be blurry. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get there. Let's go ahead and get there. Okay, leaning on my front fit, on my front leg, aggressive at my posture, aggressive at my, at my waist, so I'm leaning over a little bit aggressive but sustainable, I should be able to do this all day. Okay. Breathing should be natural. You should not be holding your breath. You should not be hyperventilating. Say that you had to run for a little bit. You know, you were scared, you were in a situation, you were inside of Walmart, had to run outside of Walmart. You still may have to defend yourself outside. Control your breathing. <clears throat> Trigger control. Go ahead and uh, point your weapons at your target. I want you to just, just, listen to me, just touch your trigger. Just touch it. Now, I know with these plastic guns, you don't have, there's no slack in the trigger, but I want you to listen to what I'm talking. Touch the trigger, touch it, and keep your finger on the trigger. You would slack out, and listen to me, you would slack out and do a slow, steady rear rear pressure. Slow and steady rear rear pressure. In other words, you would, not, you would not slap or jerk or force your weapon to fire. Understand? Slow and steady rearward pressure. And we're going to move into our rear guns, but just listen to me for another couple moments. <clears throat> Follow through. Follow through is when you've done a, pro a proper stance, go ahead and get there. St get there and stay there. 
I don't want you guys to be slacking up too much. Proper stance, proper posture, aggressive but sustainable. Master index, index, master grip, support hand grip, sight alignment, which means you're looking through your blurry rear and focusing on your focused front sight, which is before, during, and after every shot. When you've got your focused front sight on the center mass of your target, that will be blurry because you can only focus on one thing at a time. That is called sight picture, sight picture. You're controlling your breathing, follow through. Follow through is when you, you may be forced to take multiple shots at multiple targets on the move in a dynamic real world environment. Right now what we're doing is called static shooting, which is just you're not moving, the target's not moving, but I'm teaching you what follow through means. Because in the real world, you may be forced to move. The bad guy not, might not let you shoot them. You might have to be dealing with a, a moving target, multiple targets. Who knows what, right? But we're starting out static, okay? So, arms all the way extended. Lock your elbows out. Front side focus, front side focus. Now, touch your trigger, slack out, and do it. Give me a slow, steady rear pressure without disturbing your sight picture and sight alignment. Posture. Dobbins right here. Posture. After you, after you fire that round, go ahead and cock your weapon real quick. Go ahead and cock it. No, cock your weapon. Don't lock your sides at the rear. What was cock mean? Do you have a magazine inserted out? Okay. Oh, you locked your side of the rear. Well, did you, did you cock it? Yeah. Yeah, don't lock your side of the rear unless I ask you to. I've got my weapon in my workspace. It doesn't matter if your side is forward or not. Your weapon's in your workspace. I'm not loading down here. I'm not loading up here, off to the side, anywhere else. I'm loading right in front of my face. Why am I loading? Why do I have my weapon in front of my face? So I can keep an eye on my threat and see if my weapon has some sort of a malfunction. Because if I have to do this, I can't keep an eye on two things at once, but I can use my peripheral to watch either the threat or my weapon. Understood? <clears throat> Fingertip to bullet tip. Fingertip to bullet tip. With my weapon in front of my face in my workspace, flat to flat, roll it in, firm insert. Do it now. Grab your weapons. From your workspace. Go ahead and eject it out. Keep doing it. Oh. Your weapon. What do I do with it? What do I do with your weapon? <laughs> this is your homework. Don't front side focus, touch your trigger, slack out, and fire one round. Looking through your blurry rear front side focus. Give me one round. Touch, slack out, and slow, steady rear pressure. Okay. Keep it little. Oh. Threat. Threat! Threat! There's absolutely no reason to be running this fast, Gabe. Threat! Shoot. Threat.
Threat. Together to be coming down low ready. Stay in the fight. Stay in the fight. Give me two rounds. Two rounds. Two rounds. Center mass. Good. Good. Get the gear. Somebody, somebody, release me. Three. Remember, stand by is mounted. Mounted in your shoulder. Threat! Mm -hmm. I basically just from ready. You are, you're doing this. Threat! Up. Transition, 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 transition! Threat! Threat! This is a good example of what you, what you ne can't necessarily get on a lot of better. Threat! Threat! Back in the fight, get back in the fight, whatever it takes. I would have transitioned here, but. Plate. He ain't down, he ain't down yet. Your round might be deflecting off the twigs and shit. <laughs> which, is, which is real 